Suppose we wish to construct a probability histogram. The calculator can do this as well, and here's how. Let's begin with an example. Suppose we consider a binomial probability distribution with 20 trials and a probability of success equal to 0.234. Here's how we can construct a probability histogram with this information. We go under stat and edit and we go ahead over to list 2 and we begin entering in the binomial probabilities uh, under these conditions. So we go under second vars, which is distributions, and we scroll down until we find binomial PDF. We type in the number of trials, in this case 20, then a comma, and then the probability of success, 0.234. and this will generate a list of these binomial probabilities. Okay, So at this point we see the probabilities for success under each number of trials. Now we're going to scroll over to L1 and enter in the trial numbers 0 to 20. And I'll go ahead and use the sequence command so that it can be done quickly. So we go over to L1, highlight L1, and go under second stat, that's the list option. Go under ops, and choose the SEQ command, sequence command. We'll go ahead and tell it to start counting using I as the counter. And we'll go ahead and start counting at 0 and stop counting at 20. And here we see that we have the trial numbers from 0 to 20. Now we have all the information we need to generate a probability histogram. The trial numbers are in L1 and the probabilities are in L2. So we'll go under second y equals, that's the stat plots. We'll go ahead and turn them on. We'll go ahead and highlight the histogram option. We'll choose the X list to be L1 and the frequency list to be L2. Now at this point it may be tempting to hit zoom stat to get the graph, but this will not show the picture correctly. We have very specific minimum and maximum values that we're going to use and specific scaling factors as well. So we're going to hit window and enter in these values. The X min is going to be 0, the X max is going to be 21. The scaling is going to be 1. The Y min, we're going to choose negative 0.15. These values will be above the X axis, so we want a little bit below, so we can see the picture. And the Y max is going to be the maximum value in our L2 list. That's as high up as these bars are going to go. And we'll go ahead and keep the Y scaling at 1. And here we have a graph. And we can uh, hit uh, trace to get the values that we want to see. So we use 0 for X min because for this problem, there can be no less trials than 0. We use 21 as X max because we had 0 to 20 trials. So to keep everything in the window, we add 1 to the maximum number of trials. We use negative 0.15 as the Y min, so the graph will still be visible when I hit the trace button to see values. We use the max of the L2 list for Y max because we want our histogram to be pictured in the window, and the maximum probability of occurrence is the best choice for the Y max command. And this is how you can construct a probability histogram using the calculator.